Greetings, District 11D2 Club Secretaries. I'm Wes Wagester, District 11D2 Global Leadership Team Chairperson. I'm a long-standing member of the Elmont Lions Club. This presentation has been assembled for those club secretaries that were unable to attend the presentations that were held in each of the district's three regions and as a refresher for those that attended but would like to review the secretary's roles and responsibilities. Portions of this presentation are from Lions Club International and the remainder is specifically intended for our district. Welcome to the club secretary training. This course will provide you with the basic information and resources necessary to prepare you for your new position as club secretary. Upon completion of this course, you will be able to recognize the purpose of a Lions Club and its placement within the structure of Lions Club International. Summarize the responsibilities of the club secretary. Assess additional resources as needed. Lions Club International was founded in 1917 in Chicago by businessman Melvin Jones. In 1925, Helen Keller, at the International Convention, which was held in Cedar Point, Ohio, challenged Lions to be Knights for the Blind in the Crusade Against Blindness. Currently, there are 1,400,000 plus members in 210 countries and geographic areas around the globe, in 46,000 clubs, and in 1,100 plus districts. The Lions of Michigan, October 1919. The first Lions district, District 10, is formed with the establishment of the Marquette Lions Club. November of 1919, Lions District 11 is formed with the organization of the Grand Rapids Lions. 1920, Detroit Lions Club sponsored the Windsor, Ontario, Canada Lions Club, and this creates Lions Club International. In 1932, White Cane is born in Michigan in Eastside Detroit Lions Club. 1939, Leader Dog School is launched in Rochester, Michigan. 1940, Leader Dog becomes a state project. District 11 D2 organization chart for the Lions year 2019-2020. Our governor is Don Spinks. The cabinet secretary is Terry Gebhardt. The cabinet treasurer is Joe Stratton. The first vice district governor is Dr. Sammy McCool. The immediate past district governor was, is Jack Crete. The global management team chairperson is Dave Eberline. The global leadership team chairperson is Wes Wagester. And the global service team chairperson is Dave Weinman. The second vice district governor is Brian Betzold. Region one chairperson is Jim White. The region two chairperson is Bruce Bronson. And the region three chairperson is Cheryl Druyert. Region 1, Zone 1, Chairperson is Dr. Sean Reitman. Region 1, Zone 2, Chairperson is Carol Westby. Region 2, Zone 1, Chairperson is Rick Kerner. Region 2, Zone 2, Chairperson is Kathy Ross. Region 3, Zone 1, Chairperson is Gary Sweeney. And Region 3, Zone two chairperson is Rick Cockrell. The standard club organization chart, the assembly of the club members is the main body. And the board of directors are selected to represent the thoughts of the assembly of the club members. And then the president, the secretary, and the treasurer, the first vice president, second vice president, and third vice president if they exist. The immediate past president are all members of that board of directors. And then we have administrative committees and activities committees. Some administrative committees 
are the Constitution and Bylaws Committee, the Attendance Committee, the Leadership Development Committee, the Greeter Committee, Lions Information Committee, Membership Committee, the Program Committee, Information Technology Committee, Finance Committee, and Public Relations and Communications Committee. Some of the activities committees are the Site Preservation Awareness and Action Committee, Hearing Preservation Awareness and Action Committee, Environmental Services Committee, Community Services Committee, Disaster Preparedness and Relief Committee, Diabetes Awareness Committee, Lions Services for Children Committee, the Lions Opportunity for Youth Committee, International Relations Committee. And additionally, Activities Committees, Citizenship Services Committee, Educational Services Committee, Health Services Committee, Social Services Committee, Recreational Services Committee, and Public Services Committee. Welcome to Club Secretary Training. You have been elected to the position of Club Secretary. As Secretary, you are an integral part of the leadership team working to support the club president as he or she leads your club in service activities that help support your local community and surrounding areas. Responsibilities of the club secretary include attending all club and board meetings, organizing club and board meetings, recording meeting minutes, keeping club records, receiving and responding to club correspondence, completing and filing all club reports with LCI, and cooperating as an active member of the District Governor's Advisory Committee of the Zone. The responsibilities of the club secretary can be divided into three stages. Stage one, before the meeting or preparation. Stage two, during the meeting or facilitation and stage three, after the meeting or follow-up. Okay, stage one, before the meeting. Provide members with advance notice of meeting dates and times. In conjunction with the president, create a meeting agenda. Assemble any correspondence to give to appropriate chairpersons or members. Prepare awards or new member kits if necessary. Prepare a club roster for taking attendance. Stage two, during the meeting, take attendance. Record meeting minutes. Document any guest speakers, non-lion visitors and visiting lions. Collect and record dues and give members receipts. Gather activity information from committee chairpersons Ask new members to fill out appropriate forms. Stage three, after the meeting, record attendance, record awards presented, verify money collected and record payment of dues, deposit or present money collected to the treasurer and obtain receipt, file or distribute a copy of the meeting minutes after they are approved, and follow up on any outstanding issues from the meeting. Responsibilities of the club secretary, spend some time with the outgoing secretary to review the current way minutes are taken. Typically, minutes will record the type of meeting, whether it's a regular, special, or board meeting, the date and place of the meeting, the name of the person presiding over the meeting, whether previous meeting minutes were approved, all motions, their movers, and whether the motions were sustained or lost, all points of order and appeals, and whether they were sustained or lost, time the meeting was called to order and adjourned. As the club secretary, remember the minutes are meant to record what the club does and not what members say. Therefore, Debate is considered informal and not recorded. Proper terminology is important and should be used. Continuing with the responsibilities of the club secretary, club files should include the club charter, 
the Constitution and bylaws, the club history, minutes of all club and board of directors meetings, annual reports of club officers and committees, activity reports, roster of club members. Continuing with responsibilities, the club secretary. The club secretary receives a lot of information from LCI and others pertaining to training, events, and meetings. Correspondence may come electronically or through post and involve the president, treasurer, committee, and our project chairpersons. It is important that all correspondence is open, read, and distributed in a timely manner. It is strongly recommended that the club secretary and president meet at the start of the term to discuss how correspondence will be answered, kept, and reported. In some clubs, the secretary is responsible for the club newsletter and is integral to the club's public relations. If you are not responsible for these duties, it will be important for you to be in close contact with those who are. This ensures all important club news is published. It is important to submit accurate and timely reports as your club strives to earn the Club Excellence Award. Some of the reports and forms you are responsible for include the monthly membership report, which is done on my LCI, the monthly club service activity report, which is done on my Lion, the club officer report, which is a PU 101, and club supplies order form. My LCI is a reporting website used by many Lions clubs around the world. It is assessed through the LCI website and all required forms are submitted here. There are many benefits to using my LCI. You can submit monthly membership and officer reporting forms online. View, update, and download club member information or print membership cards. Using My Lion to report your club activities. How to report and celebrate service. On lionsclub.org, click on the My LCI slash My Lion text in top right hand corner. Log into your Lion account. Select My Lion, select the Report Activity option at the top of the page, then click Create Pass Activity to Report. A, select Activity Type, and B, collect Continue. A, select your Event Type, and B, click Continue. A, choose a project planner that applies or choose other, then click Continue. Choose a project planner that applies or choose other, then click Continue. A, fill in your activity details. B, select your privacy settings. C, upload an image. And D, click Continue. A, share the impact of your activity by filling in the requested fields, and B, click Continue. A, review the details of your activity, and B, click Report. Click Submit on the pop-up, and you are done. Planning your term. Once new club officers, and that's reported on the PU 101, are reported to LCI headquarters, an email will be sent providing information on how to access the system and select your password. You will find links to my LCI video tutorials and frequently asked questions in the resource section of LCI website. Before you officially take office, there are several steps you can take to better prepare yourself. You can attend club officer training, you can meet with the current secretary to review any outstanding issues. If you use My LCI for reporting, create your account and review training materials. Verify officer and membership information is correct on the club roster and at LCI and the MD 
or district level. Work with the club president and treasurer on the annual budget and assist with setting up any committees. On a monthly basis, you will attend club and board meetings, submit monthly membership reports, submit activity report, keep member records up to date, collect and turn monies over to the club treasurer and obtain receipt, respond to and send out any letters or correspondence. On a quarterly basis, you will attend zone meetings with the club president, report to the president and board any delinquency issues and actions taken to collect funds due. Twice yearly, you will confirm the list of members with LCI against the biannual dues list that is sent to the treasurer with the club records and work with club treasurer to issue semi-annual dues statements to each member and reconcile other financial obligations owed to the club. And your club may choose to do this quarterly or annually. As needed, you will review completed new membership applications and file in the club records, submit new member information to LCI, order club supplies and awards through LCI, or a local vendor. Planning your term. After the annual election, you will submit club officer report, also called the PU 101 via my LCI. Receive and distribute information about multiple district, district and international conventions. Apply to LCI and district for members awards. And you can gain additional insight and information by familiarizing yourself with the documents and training materials on the following Lions Club International website. And the web pages there are the Club Officer Orientation, the Leadership Resource Center, the Lions Learning Center, Lions Club Member Resources, Managing a Club, and the USA Canada Forum Lions University. To assess the additional club officer training, you may type in Lions Club International homepage, look for the magnifying glass on the right side of the site, and type in club officer training. Choose club officer training, and the next slide should explain what you will see there. Online club officer training. And this is new for club officers. The new standard club structure provides organizational guidance for your club in planning and implementation of all its goals, providing needed community service and building great friendships in your club. There is now a special web page created for each of you to make it easier to get to the resources that will help you be successful in your unique club leadership position. Of course, for club president and first vice president, for club secretary, for club treasurer, club membership chairperson, club service chairperson, club marketing communications chairperson, club LCIF coordinator. You may email Lions Club International at clubofficers at lionsclub.org or call Area code 630-468-6890. Please take a moment to read this year's governor's theme. Thank you for assuming your role as club secretary. We wish you another great Lions year.